I'm as angry and frustrated as Canadians and, and members of this House regarding the fact that a Canadian official was at the Russian Embassy. This should have not happened. And of course, Mr. Speaker, it will not happen again. There's a real competition to be the most incompetent minister in the Trudeau government at the moment, but Melanie Jolie is in the running. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist with the Toronto Sun. Minister Jolie is in charge of foreign affairs in the Trudeau government, but lately it's been the minister of gaffes. She's under fire over the decision of her department to send a senior bureaucrat, the head of protocol, to a Russian Day event. This is a garden party at the Russian embassy to mark Russia's National Day. In case you hadn't noticed, we're pretty much at war with Russia over their invasion of Ukraine, but this is something that the department decided to do. Uh, the head of the department knew about it, the people in charge knew about it, Jolie most definitely knew about it, and didn't do anything to stop it. Now, they've backtracked, they've backpedaled, and they're trying to say that this sort of thing shouldn't happen. Uh, our intention has been to suffocate the Putin regime and to isolate it diplomatically, economically, and politically. So we'll continue to do that, because meanwhile, Ukrainians are fighting and dying. But the reason it did is that the Trudeau government has a very strange attitude towards foreign affairs. It's diplomacy at all costs. While the Harper government threw out regimes like Iran, which was systematically spying on Canada and harassing Canadian citizens from the Isra Iranian diaspora, the Trudeau guys wanted the back end. They wanted to cozy up to Russia even before Putin invaded Ukraine once again. I spoke with Gary Keller, a former chief of staff to Foreign Affairs Minister John Baird in the Harper government. He told me that this sort of thing always goes on, but that when they were in charge of the department, they would give senior bureaucrats a list of countries not to invite to our events and that our people were not allowed to go to. Now, let me read you a quote of what Keller told me. He said, sometimes bureaucrats would push back and say we needed to engage in diplomacy by attending a national day, but we made it clear to the deputy and other senior officials that if they ignored the minister's instructions, someone's job was on the line. And the only person whose job should be on the line right now is Melanie Jolie. She has shown herself time and again not to be up to the task of representing Canada on the world stage. And she's done it once again. This may seem trivial or insignificant. A diplomat went to a garden party. Oh, what's the big deal? But when you're standing there, sipping on cheap Russian champagne, eating their caviar, you're giving them a diplomatic win. You're giving the embassy the chance to say, see, Canada came to our party. Canada is standing with us. They're not really with Ukraine. They don't really mean what they're saying about these sanctions. That's what Jolie did. That's what her department did by not knowing how to play the game of diplomacy on the world stage. It's time for her to go. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Share this on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.